Hello, السلام السلام عليكم جميعا خلينا نبدا Can you hear me? اه دكتور اوكي واللكتشر موجود قدامكم واضح؟ اه واضح اوكي اوكي لاست لكتشر وي وي انتروديوس ذا راندوم فيريبلز ويتش از ذا بيجينينج اوف تشابتر 2 وي توكت اباوت ذا راندوم فيريبل اند هاو يو نو هاو وي كم اب وذ ذا راندوم فيريبل فروم يونيفرسال سيت And we also talked about the types of uh, uh, random variables. Uh, we talked about the discrete uh, random variables. We had three examples. Uh, and also we talked about uh, the... What else? Let me see here what we got. Yes, we talked about the random variables. And also we talked about uh, the probability mass function. For the discrete random variables, okay, and we had a few examples on that. And today we're going to continue with chapter three, where we're going to uh, introduce uh, a new distribution. So, like I said uh, last time, we talked about the, the PMF uh, for the discrete random variable, but the PMF is not really good enough for uh, any function other than uh, uh, discrete random variable. So, if we have continuous random variable. Uh, we can't really use the PMF. So now today we're going to introduce a new function uh, or a new distribution, let's say. Uh, and this distribution should be valid for both uh, discrete as well as continuous random variables. So this CDF uh, or this uh, distribution is called the cumulative distribution function. Uh, and uh, for short, we're going to call it CDF. Okay. And uh, as you can see here, the, the CDF, basically, it's, the, it's defined as shown in equation one, the notation for the CDF or the distribution of Fx. So if we have a random variable x, so the CDF uh, of that random variable, okay, or the distribution for x, it's given by, uh, it's given by uh, equation Uh, one where the notation is fx, which is equal to the probability of the random variable x, taking the values less or equal to small x, where small x is uh, a specific value in the random variable. Okay, and if you remember, if we have a random variable, so we have uh, the outcomes. We we you know we assign a number, a value, uh, you know a numerical number for each outcome. So that's basically what the CDF is all about. Now, the next thing we want to talk about, straightforward, we're going to talk about the properties of the distribution of uh, Fx. So the first property is uh, when the Fx is the probability of x less than e less or equal to minus infinity, the distribution in this case will be equal to zero. Okay. Because obviously we have no outcomes and the probability of no outcomes will be zero. Okay. And then when when X goes to infinity, the probability of the probability of X less or equal to infinity, which is the maximum, okay, will be equal to one. So as shown in probability number three, the distribution of X is equal between zero and one, which is if you go back to uh, chapter one, this is satisfies axiom number one. Okay, where we said the distribution or the probability it's between zero and one cannot be less than zero and cannot be larger than one. Okay, so now this is because now we are we are talking about prop, uh, property probability here. Okay, now if we go to page 30 of the notes, and by the way, these notes are on e-learning, and also we have voice recording. You know, the, basically the same thing I'm talking about here, the same explanation. Okay. Uh, uh, number four, the property number four, it says that distribution of X for X1, where uh, X is less or equal to X1, is less or equal to X2. So the distribution of X1 is less or equal to the distribution of X2, given that X1 is is what x1 is less than x2 x1 is less than x2 okay you know the outcomes which means that 
the CDF in this case is a monotonic non-decreasing function. It's always increasing. It's the CDF or the FX, the CDF is always increasing. It's non-decreasing function. That's what this property is all about. Number five, uh, uh, it shows here if we have uh, what's the probability uh, the probability of the random variable x larger than x1 but smaller or equal to x2 we can write it in in this in this fashion okay number five which is the distribution of x2 minus the distribution of x1 so you find this distribution of x2 and then you take out from it the distribution of x1 and that would be the probability of x1 between x1 and x2. And probability no, uh, number six, the uh, distribution of x plus, okay, is equal to the uh, distribution of, uh, of x, okay? So fx plus is equal to fx. What that means, it means that the fx or the distribution of x is always continuous on the right side, from the right side, but discontinue on the left side. And we can have an example here, uh, right here on this page, to clarify what we mean by continuous on the right side and discontinue. And maybe maybe you've seen that uh, in uh, EE260, I'm not really sure, but anyway, we're gonna take an example on this to clarify what we mean by it's continuous, uh, continuous on the right, but uh, not on the left. And finally, the, the uh, distribution, uh, finally, the property number seven. Now, if you go here, if you go back to page uh, 29, we said the CDF is equal to the probability of X taking the values of uh, smaller or equal to X, less or equal. Now, what if we have uh, X larger than, uh, you know, the, the, the random variable X larger than X? In this case, we can write it this way, one minus fx, one minus fx. Now one, okay, or basically what we're saying, we're saying it's the, when fx goes to infinity minus to fx x, because when fx goes to infinity, it's equal to one, okay? So we just take it from the top. So from from uh, infinity minus, minus this one right here, minus uh, the less, that will give us this one here between between uh, between fx and one. That's basically what, what this is all about, okay? Now this example here, we've seen this example, which is uh, a coin tossing experiment where we toss the coin three times, we flip the coin three times, and the outcomes, obviously we have eight different outcomes, and we, uh, we assume that each outcome has the uh, has the probability of one over eight, and all the uh, all the outcomes uh, have the same probability, equal probability of happening. Okay, and uh, last lecture we, we've seen this example, and we uh, you know based on uh, the rule, we said that the random variable of heads in in three coin tosses, okay, it will be three two 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 one 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 zero, okay, so the random variable we produce a random variable from this uh, universal set, okay, assuming that we need to see the outcome uh, is equal to a, a head. So the first one, we got three head, the second one, two head, two head, two head, and one head, one head, one head, and zero, okay? So the the random variable we talked about last time was, uh, has the values zero, one, two, three, okay? And based on that, we can, we can determine uh, the PMF Okay, the PMF for for each outcome. So the probability of zero, the probability of zero is one over eight because it happened one once. Okay, so one over eight. The probability of one, the mass function, uh, the probability mass function of one, it's going to be three eight. Why? Because we have one, two, three outcomes. The same thing for the uh, number two. Okay. And uh, the probability of three is one over eight. So the total will have to be equal to one. Okay. Now, how we apply it? How we apply uh, CDF, as shown on this plot here. So on the x-axis, you have the, the the values of the random variables: zero, one, two, three, right? And then, so you start from here. Of course, some people may start the zero here, 
if you want. E either way, it's fine. But if you start here, zero, okay, it will be one over eight. Now the next value is one. At one, you have three eight. The mass function is three eight. So it will be three eight plus the one. So you start from here, okay? You don't start from here, you start from here. So one over eight plus three eight will be one half, okay? So the CDF for this value, and by the way, this is, uh, this is a discrete random variable, okay? So we, uh, so it's gonna be one half. Now for the value two, it's gonna be one half plus three eight. So it'll be seven or over eight. It's a cumulative, if you will. And then number three will be seven over eight plus ish one. And after that, it's gonna be all the way to infinity. When, when, when X goes to infinity, it will continue to be one. So the maximum is one. So it's going to be between zero and one, okay? Now, if we take an example here, for example, uh, when X, small X is equal one, okay? And we said the small X is equal AS one half. The, the, the CDF for uh, one, the CDF when X is, uh, is equal one is one half. Now, the fx of one minus a small value like delta, okay, just to the left of one, to the left of one right here, okay. So the probability of one minus delta, where delta is very small number, minute number, okay. So in this case, uh, the fx will be what? One over eight. It's going to go back to zero, okay. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be half. It's gonna be go. It's gonna go back to zero. Now, if we if we if we add uh, delta to the right hand side, if we say one plus delta, it's gonna be half. Okay. So one minus delta is gonna be one over eight. One plus delta is half, which means that on the right hand side, okay, the CDF is always gonna continue as fx right here. fx is equal one. It's gonna continue until you hit. The second one. So, for example, at fx is equal three. Okay, fx is equal three. On the right hand side, it's going to continue all the way to infinity and going to continue to be one. Cannot be even larger than one. And this is exactly what we mean by uh, uh, the fx or the CDF is a continuous on the right side from the right side. Okay. And on page uh, thirty-one. Now, if x, if if f, if the random variable x is a discrete random variable, can be written in this notation as shown in equation one here on 31. And basically, you take the sum of the PDF for each outcome, the 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 the, the often the PMF, the PMF of each outcome, times the unit step, the unit step of that outcome. And we uh, we all we've seen this unit step back when uh, you had getting uh, good EE uh, 260 uh, signals and systems. We talked about uh, unit step. some of them continuous. Some of them. Nam. Okay. So this uh, the U of X. This is a unit step, which is either one or zero. One with going to be when X is larger or equal to zero. Okay. And uh, zero when x is equal to less than zero. So when the values are less than less than zero, u of x is going to be zero. Okay. Otherwise, it'll be one. So by taking this equation, equation one, okay, we can go back to this page right here, and we have uh, we have the PMFs. The first one is one over eight, three over eight, three over eight, one over eight, and we have these values: zero, one, two, three. So the first one is going to be one over eight times the U, uh, x right here, x uh, x minus x i, where x i in this case is equal to zero. So it's going to be u of x, okay. And the second one is going to be one. The third one is going to be two, and the fourth one is going to be uh, three. And so the outcome right here, this graph here, can be written in this value. 1 over 8, this is 1 over 8, u, uh, u of x. U, uh, the second one, uh, 
3 over 8 u of x minus 1 right here. So we are taking shift to the right one, and this is 3 over 8. But of course, uh, graphically speaking, we add uh, the previous one to it, and so on and so forth. So this is how you, you present the discrete random variable in terms of uh, a unit step function, as I shown here in this equation, in this notation. All right, uh, uh, page 32. Uh, we can have some examples here. Uh, what we need to do, we need to verify. Of course, you know, we talked about the CDF, uh, the, the properties of these CDFs. Let's go back to these properties qu quickly. The first property is the fx of minus infinity is equal zero, and the fx of infinity is equal one. Okay. And also, we have another one is number four. Uh, uh, we said the CDF is monotonically uh, increasing function. Okay, so we can use these three uh, uh, three properties to determine whether a given function is a CDF or not. Okay, so as an example here, if you go to page 32, actually we have three parts. Let's start with the first part. Fx is equal one half plus one uh, plus one over pi times tan, uh, the inverse tan of x, okay? So like I said, we need to determine uh, if x minus infinity is equal to zero, the second one is one, and also we need to make sure is the function uh, is monotonically increasing. So if we take a look at this function, the one we just talked about, we know that the inverse tan of x, the inverse tan of minus infinity is is approximately minus uh, minus 90 degrees, approximately minus 90 degrees. And for x is minus, uh, for x is infinite, so the inverse tan of infinity is almost 90 degrees, okay? So if you plug these numbers back in here, and we know one over pi is, it's really uh, one over one, uh, 180 degrees. So this one, the first one is gonna be minus half. So half plus minus half will be zero, zero. The second one, half plus half will be one. So the first two, they are satisfied, okay? And of course, if you if you start increasing x in here, the inverse tan will increase. It's gonna always increase. So as x increases, the, uh, this fx will increase. So since these all three properties are satisfied, okay, then uh, this function is valid. That's how, we determine whether a given function is valid CDF or not by applying these three properties or verifying these uh, these properties. Now, equation number two, uh, uh, function B, another example, it's, it's given us uh, one minus the exponential minus X times the unit step X, okay? Now, unit step, uh, unit step X, we said this unit step, it's gonna be equal to zero when x is less than zero, otherwise it will be one, okay? So we begin here, u of x infinity is always gonna be when x is equal uh, infinity, you plug x here and x here. u of x is gonna be one, and x, uh, the exponential minus infinity is equal to zero. كنا بنعرف الحكيات, صح? معناته بالحالة هاي is going to be equal to 1. Similarly, if we plug in minus infinity here, okay, without continuing, once we plug in minus infinity here, the u of x will be 0, so the rest of the function is going to be 0. ما في داعي نكمل, okay? So the first two properties are ish satisfied. Now, if we keep increasing uh, x, so if we say uh, x to the power, uh, let's say from zero, u of x is equal to zero, will be one. Uh, the exponential min uh, minus x will be ish, the exponential minus zero, for example, okay, uh, will be one. So the whole thing will be zero. Manato. Now, if we increase x, if we go to instead of 0 0.1 or 1 or 2 or 3, it's always going to increase. So this is will satisfy the third. Uh, the third CDF or the third uh, property, if you will. Okay. معناته this ish 
this CDF is, al is, is also valid. The fourth one, or the third one, the third uh, function, the exponential minus x squared. Okay. Now, this is, we don't have to, I mean, by looking at it, we know it's not a valid CDF leash. As x increases, this function will decrease. خلاص معناته this property is not satisfied معناته خلاص so we have to satisfy all three مش واحد منهم all three so since this uh, this one is decreasing with with as with increase in x معناته this is not a valid CDF okay so you have a lot uh, some examples in the book and also in the exercises so uh, I think you know that's how you determine whether this is a valid CDF or not. Uh, let's take uh, another example on page 33. This example is the same example we just verified right here, uh, B right here, and we, we verified it's really valid CDF. Okay. We just talked about it a minute ago. So we need to find from this CDF, 1 minus x, uh, exponential minus x, times the unit step x, right? We need to find uh, these... Uh, three property uh, probabilities. Okay, the first one is the probability of x larger than five. Okay, x larger than five. Okay. Now, if we if we go back to the uh, if we go back to the properties here. Uh, property number uh, seven, right here. All we have to do will be one minus fx. Okay. So we apply that property to this one here, one minus fx five. Where five we plug in back into this uh, the CDF given CDF to us, and the outcome will be the exponential minus five. Similarly. The property of x less than 5, this is straightforward. This is, uh, we just need to find the fx. So we just plug in uh, 5 in, the, in that equation and find 1 minus the exponential minus 5. Finally, we have this equation or this uh, example. This is a conditional uh, property, uh, the uh, conditional probability, if you will. And we learn about the conditional prob uh, probability uh, a few lectures ago, chapter one, I believe. Okay. So what we're saying here, the probability of X larger than five, given the probability of X less than seven. So basically what we're saying, X between five and seven, the probability of X larger than five. Okay. Given that X is a is uh, uh, smaller than seven. Sorry. So X between uh, five and seven, but it's not equal to five and it's not equal to seven either. OK, so according to the conditional probability, it's going to be written this way. The probability of X larger than five uh, intersect with X less than seven. OK, divide by the probability of X, uh, probability of, uh, less than seven. OK, so this one can be written by X larger than five and X la uh, less than seven. And if we go back to the properties, this one can be written at the top right here, the numerator going to be fx7 minus fx5 divided by fx7 and you plug in the number and there'll be this is the outcome so this is uh, again this is uh, application for uh, the conditional properties or conditional property in chapter uh, one and uh, as well as the uh, the cdf property okay any questions everything's clear okay سؤال محاضر الماضي شو السؤال إذا خلينا نشوف إذا معين المحاضرة تفضل قوانين إنه استخدام قانون البيومتريك والبيوناميا نعم إنه متى بستخدم هذا ومتى بستخدم هذا متى بستخدم الجيومتريك أو البيوناميا أوكي لمي سي لمي جو باك تو طبعاً ال ال binomial إذا متذكر if you go back to the the notes اللي وديت لك إياها موجودات على ال ال e-learning okay ال binomial ال binomial شو هي هي عبارة عن إيش Bernoulli trial 
uh, we do it multiple times in times صح ولا لا so if you have so. a trial let's say هلا خلينا نرجع للبرنولي برنولي عبارة عن ايش flipping a coin for example right so the outcome will be either zero or one now if we if we uh, if we do this experiment n times like a hundred times okay uh, then بالحالة هاي you can use binomial يعني لأنه إيش شو بصير عندك بصير عندك يعني uh, x number uh, of uh, binomial zero one zero one zero one صح ولا لا فمثلا إذا كان عندك مثلا uh, the first k outcomes of the 10 عند خلينا نقول عملنا لهم 100 times we flip the coin 100 times the first uh, one واحد مثلا zero the second one is zero the third one is one and so on and so forth معناته في عندك مجموعة okay خلينا نقول k outcomes will be equal to one and n minus k will be equal to h to zero okay now uh, in this case uh, uh, you write you write this one to, uh, in terms of binomial, uh, by, uh, by, uh, binomial, of one, okay, and multiply by h by the uh, binomial coefficient given, okay. Hey, بالنسبة لإيش للبينوميال. هلا بالنسبة للجيومتريك بالنسبة للجيومتريك if you are flipping the coin and you are looking for a specific outcome, يعني خلينا نحكي إنه أنا مثلاً I'm flipping. Uh, uh, the coin and I'm looking for the outcome to be uh, zero, okay, which is zero ahead, for example, okay. So you keep flipping the head until you uh, you keep flipping the coin until you get head. مثلا ممكن تأخذ معك five trials. Sir one, two, three, four. كلهم أجوا مثلا one, 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 one. The first, the fifth one was zero. صح. بالحالي هاي you stop at five. معناته بالحالي هاي your k or the 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 trial will be five only. So uh, the geometric is you are looking for a specific outcome, where the other one is you have a يعني, large number of outcomes, a hundred or a thousand, okay? That's the difference between geometric and binomial. So, uh, uh, البوسان نفس الشيء بيعتمد على ال دقيقة البوسان بيعتمد على الباينوميال هلا البوسان شو حكينا عنه أجين أنا بحكي هيك بس لو ترجع للنوت بكون يعني أوضح شايف كيف <تصفيق> نعم أنت طلعت على النوت البوسان شو بحكي لك بحكي لك إنه نسيوم إنه ال الآن very big لازم تكون بالضبط يعني شوف كلهن بيعتمد على ايش كلهن بيعتمد على ال 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 البرنولي اوكي البرنولي يو فليب ذا ذا كون وان تايمز رايت ال الباينوميال يو فليب ذا كون مور ذان وان تايمز يعني ان تايمز ممكن 2 ممكن 3 ممكن 10 اوكي هلا البوسان بيعتمد على انه الباينولي الباينوميال عفوا بس ايش you do the uh, uh, Bernoulli tries many, many times, يعني, uh, large number, but the outcome, يعني, if you are looking for the outcome to be خلينا نقول, uh, zero, but the, 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 the outcome in the TJ can be small, يعني, the, the percentage would be small, so in the case we use Poisson. Okay? Now, Poisson, يعني, to be honest with you, when do we use it? We traffic engineering. يعني, كيف, مثلاً, خلينا نقول traffic engineering in communication أو بال traffic بال street يعني مثلاً مثلاً how many cars is passing through this per hour دائما it's يعني بستعملوا the average okay so the Poisson بستعملوا هبل Q and theory بال computers and things like that okay بس إيش again بتعتمد إيش على the binomial واللي هي إنه أنت you do the binomial يعني very large number يعني ما بنحكي عن two times, three times, بنحكي عن maybe, maybe thousands of times. ممكن uh, عشان إيش we are looking for specific, uh, يعني خلينا نقول specific outcome. Uh, خلينا نقول يعني the more you do it, uh, the the better outcome or accurate uh, your your result will be. يعني خلينا نقول إذا مثلاً بدك تعرف عدد السيارات اللي uh, they're passing through, uh, خلينا نقول um, شو الشارع اللي عندنا مثلاً بترا. Okay. Uh, بدك تعرف انه مثلا بالساعه 
طبعا عدد السيارات بالساعة الصبح مش مثل عدد السيارات الساعة بعد الظهر صح ولا لا؟ ف you take some samples you take مثلا the number of cars in the morning at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock and you repeat that in the afternoon, you repeat that in the morning خلينا نقول the next day you repeat that مثلا Saturday or Sunday فبالحالة هاي بتاخذ the average بدل ما تقول والله اه اوكي وي ار يعني ان ان اور في بمشي مثلا 1000 كار كارز بس مثلا بالويكند ممكن هذا الحكي مش صحيح فانت بدك تعمل الافريج بدك تاخذ الماكسيموم والمينيموم بيعتمد على وات يو لوكينج فور ذا سيم ثينج خلينا نعمل اذا صرت مثلا ترافيك انجينير بالكوميونيكيشن هو برضه بيقولوا لهم ترافيك انجينيرز اند يو وانا خلينا نقول ديزاين نتورك Okay, so you need to know the traffic, يعني the, the number of calls per hour or per minute uh, uh, for specific area, the numbers of packets going through from one point to another. كل هذا بستعمله له. طبعاً إحنا لما نحكي uh, calls و, و packets ما بنحكي عن one, two, three packets. بنحكي عن thousands or maybe mega packets ولا لا. فبالحالة هاي بستعمله بوصان. Okay. تمام دكتور يعطيك الف عافيه اهلين اني اذر كويشنز كل شيء تمام اوكي اف اف يو دون هاف اني كويشنز فنعطيكم الف عافيه وان شاء الله بنشوفكم يوم الثلاثاء وير وي جونا توك اباوت ا ديفرنت تايب اوف ديستريبيوشن ويل كونتينيو تشابتر 2 از ويل اوكي يعطيكم العافيه